Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm back at one of my favourite places in the world, if not just in England, but in the world. And I'm back doing some videos, some meditating, some reconnecting with the ancestors, meeting some friends. I'm back at the landscape of Avebury in Wiltshire, a place I've been coming to since 1991. Um, and it's a beautiful day. It's supposed to be overcast today, and it's not. It's not. It's um, Wednesday the 29th of May. We're just by the A4 road, the old London to Bath road, the old A4. And if you follow me down here, we're actually on the Ridgeway National Trail, um, which uh, is a very, very, very ancient route. Up there by the A3 is the start of it. Um, there. But or oh, the end of it, but it actually goes down to the Dorset coast. It's a very, very ancient, ancient, uh, probably the oldest road in the country. Been used for thousands of years. And right here we have a, I think it's a bowl barrow. We've got the three barrows up there with the sheep all chilling out with, and we've got a bowl barrow here. So it's lovely. Um, I'm feeling the vibe already. This is a really powerful, we're going down the spiritual route. That's another reason I've come here. Um, it's a really powerful earth energy center It's the whole landscape of Avebury. You know, I've said it in many videos before. All my previous videos are, are in a playlist and I'll, I'll link that in the description box below. Um, but yeah, this is a very, very, very special place for me since I first came here all those years ago. And um, looking forward to it. I'm doing a few other little bits and pieces which I haven't done for a while. Hopefully we got to West Kennet Long Barrow, which I haven't been to since 2018, um, which would be great. But here we are, I'm have a quick look at the sanctuary and uh, join me for these adventures. So here we are at the sanctuary. Um, right over in the distance is West Kennet Longborough with a helicopter nearby. That's weird. I know we've got military places around here. It might be obviously because we're in Avebury, it's very, very windy. So hopefully you can hear me okay. Yeah, here's the sanctuary. A complex monument built of stone and wood. If you were standing here 4,500 years ago, this hills rock would have been dominated by a remarkable ceremonial temple. Shadows of the way. The sanctuary, I will be repeating myself. The sanctuary, from other videos, the sanctuary is at the end of the West Kennet uh, Avenue of stones. And you've got grand views over the downs going down to uh, East Kennet which we'll be going to but it's absolutely gorgeous and there's the Ridgeway pathway up there oh, I'm really pleased about the weather lovely journey coming down it's half term this week so um, it was a pretty easy trip I will be doing a spot of dowsing while in um, Avebury done quite a bit here over the years which is great just feeling the energies already coming through this is on because obviously we follow the Michael and Mary current earth energy current this is on the Michael current and when we go over to West Kennet Longborough that's on the Mary the Mary current So let the journey begin. We're going to go from the sanctuary and go and have a look around East Kennet Village. I don't see bits of in the past. We did a walk there uh, from at the edge of this village when we were going from West Overton where me and Richard Vogue, the Board Explorer, were staying back in 2018. Um, it was buttercups, are lovely. Um, so yeah, we're going to go down to East Kennet Village, um, see what's around there. 
and see what might surprise us. I know I've been there, or I've driven through there many times, but we've never stopped there, so uh, yeah, let's go. Here. I've always come past you in this little bookstore of these old telephone boxes and they're reconverted either defibrillators or a book swap. Isn't that great? <laughs> East Kennet is a very ancient village of course like most of them are around here. We're in the Avery landscape and uh, it's lovely. It's lovely stone wall here. Must be part of an estate. Um, it's actually nice to get out and have a walk after driving for two hours from uh, North Surrey. I did hire a car because, as I said before, my car's getting on a bit now and I don't really take it on long journeys. I think it would have been fine, don't get me wrong, it would have been fine. So I've been got a lovely Fiat. Never thought I'd be driving a Fiat, but uh, that's a nice house. Um, but yes, yeah, been a good drive so far. And a cottage and a unit vehicle. That's oh, a little pathway. A little pathway, a quick snooze where this goes. Is this a Wiltshire version of a Twitten? goes past these houses and um, yeah, that's quite nice ah I know where we are when Richard Vodes and I back in 2018 did the journey from West Overton this is where we came through I was actually going to come down that road but there was a cut through um, so yeah we came through here and that leads back up to the sanctuary and the bowl barrows So I'm traversing a landscape I haven't done for six years. Oh, it's such a gorgeous day. Such a gorgeous day. Avebury will be mainly tomorrow. Maybe a little bit today. Do come to Avebury if you can and the surrounding area. Don't just think of the stone circle, but the other aspects of the uh, landscape. Silbury Hill, West Kennet Long Barrow, the Sanctuary, West Kennet Avenue, Swallowhead Spring. There's so much to do, so much to do and see. Okay, let's head back down to the village. The smell of cow's parsley is gorgeous. Hi pigeons. Summer is here. Well, still late spring really, but I think summer's here. We're only about three weeks away from the summer solstice, which we did do once, me and Heather, back in 2005, around the time we were doing Return to Ravenswood. I've got a little bit of footage for that. Um, that, was, that was incredible. I was so tired though. Um, but that was an experience. I say a lot of people still come here for the summer solstice and the winter solstice and the equinoxes.
the West Kennet Long Barrow nearby. Um, there is also an East Kennet Barrow, which I think obviously many people know of, but it's on private land, so it's not really been excavated as far as I'm aware. Um, if anyone can correct me on that, please do. Yeah, West Overton, we did that a few years back, so we're not going to do that again. It was a lovely little walk that was around the village. Let's see what uh, Christchurch has to offer the local church. And here's my little Fiat. I hired from a hire company I've used for many years. Very cool. So yeah, it's been a nice little drive. Manor farmhouse dates from 1630. 1630. Lovely. I'm sure, lots of renovations. So this is Christchurch, which was built in 1864, but on the site of a much, much older church. And it's rather nice. On this lovely day. Is it open? <laughs> And it's open. How wonderful is that? Getting a bit of a head in here, but then again, we could be on the Mary current. That's why it's quite strong. I'm getting a bit of a head. Um, really nice. So this is Victorian, but it was on the site of a much earlier church, probably going back to Saxon times. I and mean, this is a sacred landscape that even in the Saxon time, they wouldn't have realized that Avebury or places like that in the stone circle was an ancient, ancient sacred site. Um, amazing. There will be a couple of churches in these videos, but it's going to be more about the Neolithic period and the Mesolithic period and the spirituality of the earth uh, landscape, of the earth energies landscape. We call it a sacred landscape, Avebury, because it's a powerful energy centre, whatever your opinion on that is. Um, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Yeah. Lots of donations and opened on the 19th of April, 1864. The church was erected at the sole cost of the Matthews family towards which the late rich Matthews Esquire bequeathed the sum of 1,300 pounds. And was opened for divine services, as I say, on the 19th of April, 1864. Well, that's the first video done from the sanctuary and East Kennet. More to come on this adventure. I've done a couple of adventures this year. Did enjoy my trips down to uh, Lewis and East Sussex. That was amazing. I hope you've enjoyed them too. So, uh, yeah, please like, subscribe, all that stuff that we do on this there YouTube. 
and we'll see you on the next video from uh, Weird Wiltshire. See you later.